Before we begin, let's take a moment to get used to the camera controls. Move the camera to the objective marker. Find your unit and left click to select it. You have selected your first unit. Let's check out the unit's information panel. The left part of the panel displays general information about the unit. The central part is dedicated to the unit's rules of engagement, a concept that will be covered in a later tutorial. The right part of the panel is dedicated to clicking on the name of the unit will open an even more detailed unit panel. You can also access it by pressing the I key. An escort is waiting. Move the command unit by right-clicking near the friendly troop transports. Your new unit is a military police squad, transported by an unarmored jeep. Here's the main label that displays several details. In the center, the icon of the unit, which uses either RTS or NATO symbols. At the top left, if any additional unit is carried on the right, the unit's experience. Here, the two chevrons mean that the unit is veteran. This represents the price range of the unit. Here, the red triangle means that the transport vehicle is of low price. And finally, the name of the transported unit. All right, our staging area is further up the road. No time to waste, sir. You can find the orders menu on the right-hand side of the interface. Hover your cursor above each option to find out what they do. We're almost there, sir. The road to Friedewald. There's a lot of stalking in the woods. Ivan is surely waiting in ambush. We know of the presence of the 39th Guards Motor Rifle Division in the area. We gotta scout the roads ahead and find a safe path. Before we continue, let's look at how vision works through the line of sight system. Pressing C or clicking the button displays a circle-like shape around the currently selected unit. This circle represents the field of vision of the currently selected unit. As you can see, some areas are not visible. Buildings, for instance, are obstacles that entirely block your unit's view. On the contrary, small tree lines do not block vision. Sight lines are blocked by dense forests. However, the edges can still be seen through. In order to detect an enemy unit, it must be within your unit's field of vision. But that's not all. Detection also depends on the enemy's ability to hide, and of the stealth bonus granted by the terrain it's on. It's easier to detect an enemy standing in an open field than it is to detect the same unit hidden in a forest. Likewise, it's also easier to detect a tank than it is to detect a small infantry section. All of these factors determine how close a unit must be to another in order to detect it. The Detection Display tool can show you the detection ranges of your unit, depending on various stealth and camouflage settings. Detection ranges are represented as colored circles around your selected unit. Use your recon units to find a safe path to Friedwald. Radio 
check. Red one six. Over. Waiting for instruction. Sir, I've been spotted. Enemy T-62 in sight. I bet they're not alone. Facing them with Humvees is out of the question. Let's find another way. Ready, sir. and have a look around. Yes, Captain. Sir, we have safely reached the road to Friedewald. The rest of the company may follow. Good work, Commander. You found a safe... Sir, this is Dragon 1-5. The locals talk about enemy airborne troops hella dropping to the north of the Allsfield Industrial Estate. Let's scout out the factories before we deploy our forces. Over and out. Move your recon unit to the industrial park. Use a move fast order to travel quickly. Yes, Captain. Stop and have a look around. Sir, Dragon 1-5, over. Seems like a company worth of VDV assembling up a road. My mechanized infantry and their M113 supports are only lightly armed. We might catch the Soviets in the open if we create a forward defense at the factories. Over and out. Infantry units typically deploy with their transports. These battle taxis range from unarmored trucks to APCs, or heavily armored infantry fighting vehicles. Select your infantry. Move them at the marked locations and disembark them with the unload order. I'm listening. If your current selection contains more than one unit, you can still give a specific order to a specific one without breaking your whole selection. In order to do so, just press the tab input to highlight one of your selected units. You can then give this unit, and only this unit, a specific order. Press tab as you will to change the highlighted unit and give a different set of orders. Practice this by giving each of your three transport units a different unload order. Bring us there, taxi. We'll deploy at this position. Bring us there, taxi.
Everybody, check your ammo. Looking for enemy planes. Beware, Tommy's nearby. Right on time. Soldiers, get ready to repel them. Open fire when in range. Before we continue, let's get to know your mechanized infantry squads. All infantry come equipped with small arms, from assault rifles to machine guns, explosives, rocket launchers, or other weapons. You can see which and how many weapons the squad carries in the interface. Next to the infantry unit's label, you can check the number of soldiers. This is the squad's health or fighting power. This is also visible as a status bar under the unit's name. The lethality of your small arms increases as the range shortens. When an infantry unit suffers casualties, it also affects its combat efficiency. The colored bar below the unit's label, ranging from cayenne to red, indicates the amount of stress a unit is exposed to. A weapon's ability to inflict stress is listed as its suppression value. When a unit takes too much stress, it becomes stunned. The unit will be unresponsive for a short time. Cohesion is a unit's ability to fight, as well as its level of fatigue. The more stress and casualties a unit endures, the more its cohesion will decrease. When a unit's cohesion drops too low, the unit is likely to rout. It will be uncontrollable and refuse to fight for a short duration. Damn it! Their cavalry has arrived. The BMDs outgun us. We need to protect our M113s. Keep them out of the fight for now. If the Soviet tracks get close enough, we can ambush them. We can use the squad's law rocket launchers to destroy the vehicles. The BMDs are heavily armed, but lightly armored. Make sure to keep your M113s out of the fight. Certain infantry squads carry one or multiple short to medium range anti-tank weapons. Your squads are equipped with law rocket launchers. Use them well. Well done, guys. One last time. That's the last of them. We secure... Sir, Stampede 26 here. The enemy has been spotted in the forest and in the hamlet of Jassa. We need to clear both before we can continue to fold up. The Green Berets are great at close combat. Let's use them to neutralize potential enemy ambushes. Then, we employ the engineers from the convoy to secure the village. Take command of the Green Berets of the Detachment A. Use the hunt order to let them advance and engage any enemy in range automatically. The Green Berets are equipped with submachine guns. With a high rate of fire and accuracy, these firearms excel in close combat. Infantryman and his right. The platoon is formed and ready. Out there, you shoot first and ask questions later. This is Red 2. Enemy spot. Ryan, get down! Everybody, check your app. Fire at the new.
shows further blocking positions in the forest. Get ready to Keep in mind, in forests, units gain additional cover and a 50% damage reduction bonus against most weapons. Line of sight in the woods can be considerably reduced. This helps stealth, with units gaining a 2.75 times bonus. We have orders, boys. Fire and maneuver. This is red two. Enemy spy. Let's go. Everyone's up. Can't get around Jossa though, and the village is crawling with Ivan. Our engineers are well suited to engage the enemy in urban combat. Let's bring our squads forward and kick the Soviets out with flamethrowers and demolition charges. Clear the village of enemy troops, make good use of cover and sight lines, and use the line of sight tool if necessary. Urban combat can be a brutal, destructive affair. Certain types of infantry and weapons are better at it than others. Your engineers feel to keep in mind that buildings give garrisoned squads a 70% damage reduction bonus and an increase of 3.75 times in stealth.
informed and ready. Yes, sir. Let's go and watch out for the rust. Copy, right up. Everybody, check your ass. Sir, Yankee 55 and Recon reporting for duty. Enemy armor has already been sighted to the west, meaning the Ruskies have bypassed what remains of the squadron and us. A single T-72 sits crippled on the road. Let Sand Ivan suffering, moving to position and engaging target. Over and out. Let's take time to look at the Smart Targeting Tool, also known as your Dynamic Attack Cursor. The values here indicate the target's armor and which part of it is targeted. Right below is the distance to the target. On the right is the firing weapon. In our case, it's the tank's main further down the penetration power of our weapon. The armor piercing value is based on the shell, as well as underneath we can read the damage inflicted if here, the estimated chance of, and last but not least, the est- Yes, sir? Speed driver. Red six, mounted up.
targets incoming, sir. Two T-55s are pushing to our 12 o'clock. We might be outnumbered, but never outgunned. Gunner, stab it! There are various generations of main battle tanks. The most advanced units feature large caliber tank guns, heavy armor, superior optics, and modern targeting systems. Nevertheless, older generations still have a fighting chance if used smartly. Make sure to get close and approach enemy tanks from angles where the targer's armor is weakest. Search and destroy! Good. Cavalry saves the... What the hell, sir? One wrong turn, and before we know it, the whole Soviet army overtakes us. Ivan has set up roadblocks all around us, and we're low on fuel. One good thing, though, our weapon load is full, with systems checked and 100% operational. If we use our missiles smartly and watch our step, we might get out of this in one piece. Anti-tank guided missile systems can be found in many units, from dedicated armored vehicles such as this American M901, to infantry anti-tank hunting teams, and even in helicopters and planes. Capable of dealing with heavy armor at long range, most missile systems need to be guided onto target. This means the firing unit must stand still and keep the line of sight on its target until impact. Sir, enemy roadblock in sight, and some kind of BTR is guarding the area. Advance to the position and destroy the enemy unit at the roadblock. Let's go and watch out. Move and stay alert. taken out. More roadblocks up ahead, though. Let's keep moving. 
dedicated ATGM units are powerful but fragile units. Some systems also have a minimum firing range. As such, ATGMs work best in long-range situations. Let's go and watch out. Another roadblock right in front of us. Enemy main battle tank spotted. I think it's a T-62. Take out the hostile MBT and keep moving. Some ATGMs use heat warheads, which can also be encountered in anti-tank rocket launchers. Heat rounds travel at slower speeds compared to kinetic or high explosive shells. However, they don't lose armor penetration over distance. This makes them a weapon of choice against armored targets. That's it. Inching closer to safety. Keep your heads on a swivel. We got out of the danger zone. Good work, everyone. Good work, Commander. You guys... Sir, we have a Soviet blocking position up ahead. An attack across the open would be suicide. I suggest using our mortars. If we cover our approach with smoke, we can get close and do some serious damage to Ivan. Red legs, lay those guns. Hit the grid and create a smoke screen, over. Mortars, like other artillery units, are equipped with smoke shells. On impact, these shells produce a smoke screen that remains on the battlefields for a brief time. Smoke screens are useful in obscuring friendly units from enemy fire or hindering the enemy's field of vision. Select your self-propelled mortars and move them to the designated position. Yes, Captain. Select the smoke position order in the bottom right panel. Left-click on the designated area for the fire mission to begin. To A salvo of smoke rounds will be fired. Load smoke rounds. Ready to pound them, sir. The Bradleys provide armor for the infantry during the ride and firepower when the soldiers dismount. Close for the kill, and the attack will overwhelm the enemy. Over and out. The ambush has been neutralized. Let's continue towards Bad Hurstfeld. Charlie 3 3, over and out. Good work, Commander. You managed to protect. It's
This is Abel Red 2-9, over. I have confirmed visual on enemy dismounts in the tree line up ahead. They are blocking the way. A section of self-propelled howitzers is on standby for fire support. Let's wipe Ivan off the face of the earth. This is Warhammer 5-6, ready to strike the anvil. Give us a grid and we'll deliver the fireworks, over and out. Waiting for fire coordinates. Howitzers are powerful long-range artillery units that can do tremendous damage without losing accuracy. They take time to reload or adjust their aim, however. Howitzers fire salvos of large caliber shells, such as 105 mm, 155 mm, or even larger. These shells have great high explosive damage and suppression potential. They can deploy either towed, with less mobility, or as self-propelled units, such as these M109A2s for shoot and scoot fire missions. Warhammer 5-6, this is Able Red 2-9. Coordinates transmitted, hit them good. Over and out. Understood. Time to put in the sweat, red legs. Fire for effect. Shot out. Over. Use the fire position command to neutralize the enemy units. Adjusting on target. Each friendly unit casts a fire correction range helping to spot artillery fire. In this white circle, friendly artillery will be corrected, significantly increasing their accuracy. Keep in mind that most artillery units don't need a target in order to fire. Artillery can use the fire position command to bombard a specific point on the battlefield. Be aware that if an enemy unit entrenches itself in a building, it profits from a significantly higher resistance to HE damages. Ten degrees up. Fire. The last position obliterated. Great work. Over and out. Thanks for the heavy ordnance. This is Abel Red 2-9. We're pushing forward. The enemy position has been leveled. All dead. 
or fled if lucky. Strange, no sign of a counterattack. I even got pushed out too easily. Something is not right. This is Able Red 2-9. We're under heavy bombardment, requesting a counter-battery strike. ASAP! This is Warhammer 5-6. Happy to oblige. Keep your heads down, folks. Emergency fire mission. Shot out! Use the counter-battery mode to destroy the enemy artillery and protect your allies. Counter-battery smart order lets the AI take control over your artillery units while activated. They will move and fire automatically. With the counter battery order active, artillery will fire on known or detected artillery positions, including ones that have recently fired shells. Even if the enemy artillery hasn't been spotted, you can still use the counter battery smart order. Thank you, Warhammer 5-6. I think we owe you... All units, this is King-6. The area has gone hot. Stand by for immediate deployment. The panel at the top center of the screen informs you of your command capabilities. On the left side, you can see the command points you have at your disposal. These points allow you to call in units into the field. Here you can see the number of points that will be credited to you at the end of the timer. Here is the timer showing you the countdown in seconds. Finally, this part shows you the zones under your control, the one under the control of the enemy, and the last value shows the totality of the zones on the map. During the deployment phase, you are free to dispatch your units anywhere you want within your assigned deployment area. Deploy your first units by clicking on the top left buttons that each represent a unit category. This is Saber 6. My units are ready. Over and out. Your mission is to find any intruding hostile unit. Search for the enemy and secure the area. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. Moving out. Someone call for a cab? Wilco, out. Be 
versus King-6. We have made available additional reinforcements. Use the new unit to eliminate the threat. You can call for reinforcements at any time using the deployment interface. Once you have chosen a unit, click on the terrain to indicate where you want this reinforcement to arrive. Good job, Commander. As expected. King 6, this is Saber 6. I'm ready to deploy my command vehicles in the area of operations. Over. Roger that, Saber 6. Be advised, your objective is to take control of both Alpha and Bravo. Over and out. The command zone represents a sector of the map you need to control. The value on the left indicates the number of points the area yields per tick, once fully controlled. In the center, the name of the command zone is displayed. On the right, the percentage shows the level of influence you have over the zone. Deploy a command unit. You can recognize these leader units by the number CMD icon on their unit label. Move your command unit inside the neutral command zone in order to capture it. The white circle around your command unit represents its area of influence. Any ally unit standing in it will be granted an additional level of veterancy as well as a suppression recovery bonus. This gives command units a real battle-changing potential besides being used to capture command zone. Note that a unit that is already at a veterancy level 3 cannot be granted the extra level. However, they still beneficiate from the suppression recovery bonus. This is Saber 6. Alpha is now under our control. Over. Solid copy. I have been informed that the enemy has taken Bravo to the northeast. Saber 6, your objective is to find and eliminate the enemy command unit and take over the sector. Copy that, King-6. We are on the way. Over. To keep control of a command zone, a command unit doesn't necessarily have to stay within its boundaries after capturing it. Clear the Bravo zone of hostile forces. Make sure to find and eliminate the enemy command unit. Hunting for commies. Yes, Captain. Okay, sir. What are your orders, sir? Target on sight. Fire. Okay, sir. Bad. 
at your orders. Waiting for instructions. To all units, enemy sighted. This is a story you will tell your grandchildren. Let's go and watch out for the Ruskies. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. This is Saber 6. We have cleared Bravo of the enemy. We are now in control of the area of operations. Over. Good work, Saber 6. Six, this is Saber 6. We are ready to proceed with the logistic exercise. Can I demobilize our transport units? Over. Saber 6, this is King 6. That's an affirmative on the demob order. Get your empty transport units off the battlefield. Over and out. Most infantry units and some other units, such as towed artillery, deploy with the transport vehicle. Transports such as APCs and IFVs can be armed and armored, at times heavily, and useful for continued use on the battlefield after deploying their cargo. Having fulfilled their duty, unarmed transport units, including trucks, jeeps, and helicopters, are better resold when empty. This will recoup part of their deployment cost. Select your M35 truck and resell it. Yes, sir. Click on the Resell button in the Orders panel to start the reselling process. Saber 6 here. We could use some supplies and repair over at Alpha. Are the lines to the rear secure enough to deploy our supply units? This is King 6. Yes, your lines are protected. Deploy your assigned supply units as you see fit. Over and out. Saber 6, this is Stoneplate 45. I hear you could use an oil check and a bullet or two. We're on our way. Over. Saber 6 here. We sure do. I'm dispatching the unit most in need to rendezvous with you south of Alpha. Over and out. This is Stoneplate 45. We have reached the rendezvous. We'll get you back into the fight in no time. Thanks for the refill and repair. Stoneplate 45. Keep up the good work. Saber 6 out. Supply units can resupply allied units on the battlefield when they're low on ammunition and fuel. They can also repair vehicles if damaged and even restore soldiers to infantry squads and teams low on strength. Two Soviet supply vehicles were found left behind in the village. You can capture and put them to work for your own forces. You can capture enemy supply and transport units. They have to be unarmed and undefended. Getting close enough with one of your armed units will do the trick. Use your units to capture the two supply vehicles. Radio check, Red 1-6, over. That concludes this exercise, Sabre. This is Backtrack 3-4. We got eyes on Soviet tanks refueling and rearming. We request an airstrike ASAP on the grid position. Transmitting now. Over. This is Vulture. The skies have temporarily cleared. I have little time. Give me the coordinates and I'll swoop in. Over. Good to hear, Vulture. Sending the location. Proceed with your attack run. Over and out. When deploying combat aircraft, they don't become available on the battlefield as ground units or helicopters. Instead, the aircraft will be featured in the air wing panel, their base. From there, they can be called into active duty. First things first, deploy an airplane. Click on the deployment panel in the top left of the user interface. This is the same procedure as with any other unit. Click on the aircraft you want to deploy from the air wing, then right-click on the target to start the mission. The 
This is Vulture. Ground strike mission confirmed. ETA, two mics. Let's hope the skies remain clear of bogeys. Commencing, over and out. Before arriving over the battlefield, aircraft will be in a traveling state. You can check this in the air wing panel. Certain aircraft, such as interceptors, will arrive relatively quickly. Once over the battlefield, aircraft are considered in mission. Aircraft will stay in mission until they're too low on fuel, too damaged, or ordered by the player to evac back to base. In these cases, the airplane will retreat from the area of operations. They will need time to rearm, refuel, and repair. How long depends on the condition the aircraft left the battlefield in. If an aircraft has destroyed its target and still has munitions to be fired or dropped, it will remain on station until given another order. You can tell an aircraft to fly to a different position. Give another attack order, either fire pause on a specific map point or at visible targets, or use the evac button. Aircraft can perform a wide variety of missions. Close air support is just one of them. Missiles away. Ground confirmation. That is an affirmative, Vulture. This is Stampede 26. The road ahead is blocked again. We see a large number of dismounts in their APCs. Damn it! They got themselves a pretty good position. We need to request some help from our flyboys. Folda, copy. Frankfurt, anyone on station? Over. This is Wrestler 1-1, hearing you 5x5. Five five. We got two F-111 birds. Send the location, and we will ground pound Ivan into the dirt. Over and out. Select the bomber and deploy the F-111 napalm into your air wing. This is Wrestler 1-1. One one. I got a visual on you, grunts. Guide me into the bracket. Nate for Ivan coming in hot. Over and out. Great to hear your voice, Wrestler 1-1. One one. We're punching in the grid as we speak. Burn them. Over and out. Stampede 26, tell me, do you love the smell of? Affirmative Wrestler 1-1, one, one. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. The enemy infantry by now? Less, I assume. Now, we still need to deal with the APCs. Uh, roger that, Stampede 26, calling in bird number two. We'll crack those vehicles open like a tin can with a rock guy. Over and out. Ready the second bomber in your air wing. Neutralize the armor with your F-111 CLU bomber. July Stampede 26. Happy to be in the fight. We got bandits coming in. We gotta separate. 
The way back will get mighty bumpy. Over and out. Copy that. Continuing our mission to Fulda. Not far now. Over and out. Excellent work using your fire. Roadrunner to all local units. Enemy aircraft detected in the Nidorola sector. Air alert. Take cover. This is Delta 23. We can't. We are under heavy fire. Delta 23, this is Roadrunner. Repeat transmission. Delta 23, say again. Delta. Damn it. Ivan has free reign, plinking our tracks one after another. Now our air defenses sit like lame ducks without their missiles. If we can get a supply convoy to move munitions to our AA battery, we might reestablish control over our airspace. But we first need our U.S. Air Force flyboys to clear the sky. HQ, this is Roadrunner, requesting immediate air superiority mission. Now copy, over. This is Demon 21. Us Viper drivers are fragging up and ready to go. Just give the specs and we'll be on our way. Over and out. Fighter aircraft or interceptors can be deployed to protect your ground units from enemy aircraft or helicopters. Deploy all of your three assigned fighter aircraft. Stand by for further instructions. Fighter ready. Changing position. Careful. When an hostile is spotted, it's better not to send all of your airplanes at once. Otherwise, they would all leave at the same time, leaving you unprotected against the next threats. Roadrunner, this is Demon 21. Our flight is approaching the sector. ETA 5 Mites, over. This is Roadrunner. We need top cover on our supply convoy. Watch out for bandits coming from the northeast. Over. Wilco, Roadrunner. Gonna chase Ivan to Helen back if needed. Fangs out, gentlemen. This is Roadrunner. We're heading out now. Demon 21. Keep us safe until we reach the destination. Counting on you. Over and out. Roadrunner to all units. We've spotted multiple inbound bandits. Brace for incoming airstrikes. Over and out. Awaiting instructions. Winchester, I'm out of ammo. Alpha check. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. Demon flight. We lost one truck. We need some protection. I'm out of ammo. Down in flames. Copy, leader. Go on, control. Repeat, control. Damn it, guys, we lost another. We only got two trucks left. Demon flight. We almost lost the convoy. We need your help. Get Ivan off our back. Our last truck is burning. Abort the mission. I repeat, abort the mission. 
The only thing left to do is fall back over and out. The mission is an abject failure, Commander. Our soldiers deserve better. Roadrunner to all local units. Enemy aircraft detected in the Nidorola sector. Air alert. Take cover. This is Delta 23. We can't. We are under heavy fire. Delta 23, this is Roadrunner. Repeat transmission. Delta 23, say again. Delta. Damn it. Ivan has free reign, plinking our tracks one after another. Now our air defenses sit like lame ducks without their missiles. If we can get a supply convoy to move munitions to our AA battery, we might reestablish control over our airspace. But we first need our U.S. Air Force flyboys to clear the sky. HQ, this is Roadrunner, requesting immediate air superiority mission. How copy? Over. This is Demon 21. Us Viper drivers are fragging up and ready to go. Just give the specs and we'll be on our way. Over and out. Fighter aircraft or interceptors can be deployed to protect your ground units from enemy aircraft or helicopters. Deploy all of your three assigned fighter aircraft. Stand by for further instructions. Careful. When an hostile is spotted, it's better not to send all of your airplanes at once. Otherwise, they would all leave at the same time, leaving you unprotected against the next threats. Roadrunner, this is Demon 21. Our flight is approaching the sector. ETA 5 Mites, over. This is Roadrunner. We need top cover on our supply convoy. Watch out for bandits coming from the northeast. Over. Wilco, Roadrunner. Gonna chase Ivan to hell and back if needed. Fangs out, gentlemen. This is Roadrunner. We're heading out now. Demon 21, keep us safe until we reach the destination. Counting on you, over and out. Roadrunner to all units, we've spotted multiple inbound bandits. Brace for incoming airstrikes, over and out. One more kill! Move and open your eyes. Winchester, I'm out of ammo. Fighter ready. One more kill. Repeat control, alpha check. Winchester, I'm out of ammo. Copy, leader. Eagle one, ready. There are two types of pilots, the hunters and the preys. Any update? Awaiting in Demon flight. We lost one truck. We need some protection. Damn it, guys, we lost another. We only got two trucks left. Demon flight. We almost lost the convoy. We need your help. Get Ivan off our back. We reached the air defense batteries. They should come back online soon. Thanks for the help, Demon Flight. Excellent work, Commander.
All units, this is Marauder 6. We have pinned a sizable group of enemy armor and support tracks in the nearby village. Our ground supports are spread thin and need conserving. HQ has given the green light for CAS to take out the Soviet tanks. Marauder 6, this is Cobalt 12. Coming in hot. Clusters ready to pop. Time to target. 30 seconds. Over. I'm hit! Engine 1 hit! Enemy Sam all around! Mayday! Eject! Cobalt 12, come in. Repeat, come in. Damn it. Ivan is equipped with multiple heavy AA units. Pause and hold, men. We're asking for backup. Let's hope the Soviets don't notice how few we are on the line. Over. We need to deploy seed aircraft flying overwatch to take out those pesky SAM units. They'll make quick work of the radars. If only they would hurry. Seed aircraft are specialized in destroying radar-based enemy air defense systems. They have advanced detection abilities, coupled with radar homing missiles, allowing these aircraft to fire at radar-using units without a visual target. Prepare the two assigned seed airplanes, Sandman 71 and 72. Just give me a target. Any targets? Go on, control. Copy that, Raven leader. Bullseye! This is Sandman 71. Consider those sands destroyed. Let the bombers go to town. Over and out. Copy that, Sandman. Good work. We'll mop up anything left standing. Over and out. Good work, Commander. Seed airplanes are a key tool for taking out enemy SAM units. <laughs>